am so lucky that some of my favorite things in this world are free. Why am I having the best morning ever? I look half asleep, I kinda am. So yeah, I just came outside to this like shopping mall. This is a super duper famous shopping mall. They have so much stuff and I just love the outdoor area. They have like a bunch of different like outdoor spaces that are really, really wide. I've been here a couple times actually, but I'm really out here just train watching. <laughs> Y'all know I love trains. This is one of my favorite spots to look at the train because it's in such a unique position and it just goes between the building. It's so beautiful, I need a life. Anyways, spent the morning train watching, kind of doing a little bit of work on my phone, but mostly just looking at the train, I'm not gonna lie. It's time to get going now. I'm actually gonna go get some ramen. I have really been sitting here trying to convince myself to get breakfast. I need to eat early because I have a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, I should be having breakfast food, but like, I want ramen so bad. More specifically, I want sikkimen. Sikkimen is dipping noodles. It's so funny because I didn't even know these things existed until I moved to Japan. I have a favorite sikkimen restaurant in, hey, where is that? Osaki? But I'm really close to Tokyo Station and they also have the same shop. If I remember correctly, they don't quite taste the same. Like I remember the Osaki one was better if I'm not mistaken, but it's been years. So I'm just gonna go over there anyways because that's closer to where I am than going all the way there. So yeah, we're gonna go get sick and breakfast and then I actually have to work, like sit down and actually do work and not stare at trains and pretend to work. But the train, <sighs> I love it so much. And then just a vibe and it's just like one little cart thing. Like it's not like super long. Also why I've been here so long. So underground, and I think it's like the B1 level, they have this thing at Tokyo Station called Ramen Street. It's just a bunch of different ramen shops. A lot of them are famous too. That's where the ramen shop that I'm going to is at. It's called Rokurinja, but I just came down the stairs and I noticed that they have a Ghibli store. And right next to the Ghibli store, they have one of those specialty Ghibli stores that has like super dope items. There's also a Ghibli store literally at my station that I avoid like the plague. Cause if I go in here, I'm gonna buy everything. All right, I'm gonna just try and avoid that and find the ramen. But I see a really cute backpack and it's brown. Oh my God, maybe not. Should I just go all the way to Osaki? at the large, I thought that I should get a regular, but I was in line so long that my stomach just picked the large. I still got some spicy stuff. Let me make sure there's no shiso in this, because there's some green stuff. You can only pay by cash. You're definitely gonna be waiting a really long time. They do have a different location in Osaki, near Osaki Station. I just go to that one. It's like more comfy and you can sit down and you don't have to rush. But I get it if you're in like Tokyo Station, that makes sense. But like out of all the ramen shops, this one had the longest wait. Also, I look absolutely psycho talking to myself sitting here. There's no one with me. Insert Curds of Cali Dog. The things I do for love.
probably not the only one that has been feeling overwhelmed with how fast everything is going. Did you watch him? I don't know if it's just me or what, but I just feel like the entire world is on speed and I needed to slow down, especially technology. It feels like as soon as I learn something, it's already outdated and it's time to learn something new. When you work for yourself, like you have to stay up to date with everything that's going on. There's no falling behind. So yeah, I spend a lot of time, not just like working on my businesses, but also upgrading every aspect of my life, it feels like. So today was a sit down and work day, like mega work. Like I'm gonna be sitting here for hours. So I wanted to make sure it was nice and cozy you know it's so much easier for me to work from home in fall because the weather is so comfortable i open up all the doors make myself some coffee chill on the couch it's very comfortable so the majority of stuff that i'm working on today is going to be inside of notion and i'd also like to thank notion for sponsoring today's video like if you're doing anything online everyone should have notion and if you're like overwhelmed with setting everything up in one of my last videos i talked about how you can set literally everything up with the click of a button with notion templates so i'll try and link that video down below if you're like overwhelmed with creating pages because you can have fully built customized pages ready to go with just a click of a button. But yeah, I've already shown my homepage. It's pretty much the same thing. A couple of things have changed, obviously, like the schedule, it's spooky season, the music. Just as I thought Notion couldn't possibly get better because they have so many features and it's so useful for me and my business and literally everything that I do, they launched Notion AI. It is literally AI integrated right here into your workspace. Crazy. You're probably thinking, we already have ChatGPT. No. For me, Notion AI is actually way better for two reasons. Number one, the security and the privacy. By default, you're actually giving ChatGPT the consent to use all the information that you put in there, anything that you make, anything that you build, just by using the program. In Notion, your data is not used used to train any AI models without your consent. So there's that. And also the ease of use. Like I hate hopping in between windows and different programs and systems and stuff. Having this built in is such a game changer. Like I'm getting so much more done and I'm using AI way more than I normally would. For example, think about it. When did you start taking a lot of photos? When you had a camera and a phone or when your camera was built into your phone? Exactly. If it's easy and accessible, you'll use it. But just to give you some examples, it can help you with brainstorming, social media posts, creating YouTube video ideas, making summaries or anything shorter bullet points, writing blog posts, writing outlines. And Notion AI can even translate documents. And here's an example of how Notion AI made everything so much easier. So I have all these different supplements that I need to take. Very complicated, right? What can't be taken with what? I don't want to research and look up all this information. Notion AI did it all for me in like a second. For example, my friend recommended this natto supplement. This is something in Japan. I'm not very familiar with it. The box is all in Japanese. All I did was go in here, press the space bar and ask what the supplement is. Just like ChatGPT, you can go in here and tweak things. So if it's too long, all I had to do was type in, make it shorter. You can even have it create tables if you want. Another feature that I absolutely love is the brainstorming one. Y'all, I use this so much now. Just to give you a quick example, my sister is graduating in December and I'm throwing her like a whole graduation party. She's an anesthesiologist. I can't even say the word, let alone know what all that's about. So I used, <laughs> I used Notion AI to come in here and help me brainstorm ideas for the party. So many good ideas I definitely would not have come up with myself. And then after that, I just like tweaked it a little bit by asking it to make everything anesthesia themed bomb answers y'all like we're friends now this the homie so if you guys are interested in notion and notion ai you can get started for free and unlock unlimited ai for only ten dollars a month and thank you so much notion for sponsoring today's video Comment down below how you feel about AI and if you're using it or not, what do you use it for? Are you for it? Are you against it? I feel like people have a lot of mixed feelings about AI. was like get dressed come to Ginza kind of formal and I definitely think I failed her on that one I had like a formal outfit you know you don't try it on to the last minute and it wasn't working and then it was time to go so this jean dress it is I hope it's nice enough it's so funny because I don't know what we doing but you know birthday month greatest month of the year yeah no idea what we're gonna do I don't know if we're eating I don't know if we're drinking I don't know anything she didn't even give me a hint so I'm actually looking for Chanel because that's where we're meeting her at and then uh yeah let's see what we get into we're in Ginza Sugar mama, have we exchanged? Did we change? Are you serious?
They're coming out with so much stuff. Bro, I can't keep up anymore. Every black ashy girl's dream moisturizer in a stick and it's gorgeous. And of course she takes me to some fancy schmancy. <laughs> Oh my god. We're doing like a little tea set. It's the most adorable thing ever. It's afternoon tea box. It came in like a tower of boxes of stuff. And they like unstack everything. There's so many little goodies in here. This is actually very exciting. It's kind of perfect because I'm not starving. It's like the perfect time to have little things. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks, boo. Sayaka is my only friend that doesn't eat fruit. So she like gave me her little tart thing. Okay, raspberries are so expensive in Japan. And I grab it and she's like, it's all you, bro. I'm like, we don't fit in here. We do not. <laughs> okay, so I've had like a million different tea towers at all these fancy hotels and all kind of places. All different types of names. This was hands down the best one. Like every single item in that box tasted good, which is so rare. And Sayaka was telling me like a lot of these tea towers, like they was pre-made, they taste like they was made last week and then just like really nicely assembled. This was definitely the best one. I don't know how much it cost it though, because it was a gift, so I don't know, but it was definitely good. Well worth it. If you're looking for something really, really fancy and bougie, I reckon. <laughs> uh, where are we going? <laughs> I need to return my keys. <laughs> to my walks out with the onsen keys. I need to show the camera. That's actually look. embarrassing, dude. And weird. I brought this home. <laughs> Who does that? Nerd moment. It was great. Great. 